was supposed to be a Monday meeting to buy a car advertised on Facebook Marketplace. But the sale spiraled into a robbery and gunfire, and tonight an off-duty New York cop who was just trying to buy a car is clinging to his life. So how do you stay safe when buying or selling on the largest online marketplace? Seven Year Signs, Nina Pineda is in Yonkers tonight with some tips. And Nina, unfortunately, many people have been targeted on this platform. Uh, Shot and Bill, I don't know how indicative this is of how widespread criminal activity may be when it comes to car sales on Facebook Marketplace, but it took us about 15 minutes to find two local victims who recently both bought stolen cars. This is one behind me. The blue book on this infinity is $23,000, but the buyer who met someone on Facebook Marketplace got it for about eight grand. Then she went to meet up with the seller about 15 minutes away from where the police officer was shot. The seller Seller is still out there, and now she knows the potential danger she put herself in. I believe that something bad could have happened to me on that day. Um, you know, I mean, anything is possible. Now that the situation happened with this police officer um, and it's devastating, you start thinking, like, wow, that could have been me. This is the car Lisa, who didn't want us to use her last name, bought from someone advertising on Facebook Marketplace. A flurry of exchanges, a title which was fake, a meetup to exchange cash and keys, and then... The car apparently was reported stolen a week after we had it in possession. Just after the transaction, the seller's profile was gone, and she's under strict orders from the NYPD not to operate the vehicle until they can further investigate. I'm scared. I'm worried. I have the car still in possession, and every day you don't know what's going to happen. Where'd you pick up the car from? This was the frightening moment when police informed another Facebook Marketplace user the car she had just purchased was also stolen. I was stunned and just super scared. So scared the young teacher didn't want us to show her face. The guy she met with to buy the used BMW is still out there. Both buyers say they were frightened after hearing about the police officer being shot, meeting a car seller also from Facebook. Some safety tips, meet in a public well-lit area. Don't go alone and share a meeting plan with someone you trust. Also, never ever meet at your home. Both car buyers paid the sellers in cash. Facebook Marketplace says use a secure person-to-person -person payment method like PayPal. Also, run a Carfax. The BMW was reported stolen a month ago. Lisa ran a DMV report, but the car was reported stolen after she bought it, so she's out of luck. I'm out $8,000. Um, I put a GoFundMe account up, hoping to recover, you know, that, you know, with the help of the public to recover some of my funds. You know, I'm, I'm working, you know, and can't seem to make ends meet. Both victims said that they had hoped that Facebook Marketplace would do more to vet sellers. We talked to Facebook. They said that they're working very closely with law enforcement on the interactions on the website between the officer who was shot and the seller. They encourage people who use Facebook Marketplace to look at user profiles very carefully and look at ratings. They also encourage everyone to meet up at safe exchange points. You can always ask someone to meet you at a local police station. I'm sure any criminal will run when you say you want to meet them there. We put several lists of safe exchange points on our website.